the sun is at about uh, 7.30 to you now, so you don't get in that kind of trouble. Uh, Rod, Roger, Dave, we copy and hustle on, please.
Yeah, that's going in your collection bag as a single. And I think you can remember it, Joe. Sorry about the bag. It just fell. I let it go. It's got slicker sides on it. Roger, Dave. Before it's uh, positioned, you see that little spot? See that little spot right there in front? Yeah. I think that rock hit there. Yeah, you can convince me of that. And it, let's take a look at it. Let me get the pictures here. It's easier. Roger, Dave, and we're learning things. Yeah, I guess we are. Let me uh, take a little break here. Roger, I hope we're not going to let the air out. <laughs> yeah, me. Um. Okay, babe. Here we go. I'll meet you out there. This is Houston. When you climb on board the rover, uh, do not push in the nav circuit breaker. We'll do the initialization out at the drill site.
I gotta get the two, whenever you're ready, I'll get the tools off of you. I'll be packing the ETB in the meantime. Dave, that's the firm. I just uh, should be following your checklist for closeout now. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. To and we're plenty comfortable on the time. Okay, well, we've got to get the decent engine sample first. Or you just put it in my bag. That's where it's supposed to go. particular, Dave, uh, we're looking for Max Tango and Romeo. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got him in, Joe. I was reading all that stuff out to you. I hope you get a chance to copy it all. Okay, I just check uh, in the seats there and uh, on the consoles and we're happy. Uh, Dave, this is Houston. When you drive the rover out to its final parking site, uh, we'd like you to take the dust brush, please. In fact, uh, both dust brushes, please. All right, Joe. Say again, Joe. Try another mag. Uh, it's too late for that. Your camera, I can't get off. 